Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with Shop Saber CNC. Around here they call me Router Bob. In this video, we're going to explore combining secondary operations with routing operations. I think you're going to find this is very interesting. I want to focus on the concept of secondary operations. Here's what those are. Let's say you cut parts on the CNC router and some of the parts need other things done. Edge bending is a good example. Hinge insertion is a good example. Drawer assembly would be another example. So what I want to do in this video is to show how you can actually use the machine operator to perform these. So the idea is if I'm already paying the machine operator, the machine has an automatic tool changer. So once that operator hits cycle start, the machine machine runs automatically. So during that program cycle time, the operator can do other things. And we're going to focus in this video on combining edge banding with running the router. Now, if that works, the labor for the edge banding becomes free. The ShopSaber IS-408 is the machine I'm going to be using for this demonstration. Here's how I have it equipped. I have the phenolic vacuum table. I also have a Becker pump on it. I have part locator pins. I have an ATC spindle with a 10 position tool changer and I have our nine spindle multi-drill. So it's a really nice setup for this type project. Now, let me show you how I set this demonstration up in the software. Okay, we start this demonstration up with a software called KCD, which is a really popular cabinet software. There's my cabinet and if I double click on it, here's all the information about it. And I set the sizes so that it would fit on one sheet of material. Okay, we'll hit okay. Now, all I have to do to process this is go parts. Now, Shop Saber Euro is, is our Shop Saber CNC construction method. This is frameless. I hit calculate. And of course, what it's doing is it's creating drawings of every part, then it's going through and nest them on the sheet for the best yield. Pretty much standard for what we do. And if I got the sizes right on the cabinet, this should just take one sheet, and it does. So this is what happens. And, when I run this on the machine, it's going to handle small parts and all that stuff. But there's a, another issue I wanted to talk about because the whole point of this demonstration is to show you that the operator of the machine can also do a secondary operation. In our case, it's going to be edge banding. Other examples of secondary operations could be uh, hinge insertion, drawer assembly, that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do in this demonstration is run one of these nests first, and then I have a set of parts. Then I'm going to set these parts over by the edge bander, and then we're going to load another sheet on the table, and then we're going to do both operations. Now let me show you something. There's a question here, and that is, how does the operator on the edge bander know what to do? Well, there's a feature on KCD that does this. It's labeling. Now, I've made it pretty big. This is the default position. You can place it anywhere you want on the sheet. This is a default position, and I could mark that with a marker or that's actually mounted in a tool holder, or I could cut it. I'm going to cut it with a V-bit. Now, here's what that's for. The operator picks this piece up, he looks at that label, he sees that line, that edge gets edge banded. Let's look at the shelf. Here's a shelf that gets edge banded. If we look at the bottom, there's a groove for the back, that front edge gets edge banded. So just by looking at that, that's all the edge bander operator has to know. All right, so then let's go back and nest. And then all we have to do is output that, and there's our G-code. So there's the G-code file that actually runs this nest. Now, let's take this information out to the machine, and let's try this.
We just finished cutting the first sheet on our IS-408, which I refer to as the employee of the month here. And now it's time to do the edge banding function. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use a Sahisa edge bander. It's a flexi Y. It's really nice and it's very affordable. The nice part about it is we don't need pre-mill or anything like that because the CNC router has ball screws, so the edges we produce can go right to the edge bander. Now, so we're gonna take those parts, stack them at the end of the edge bander. We're gonna put another sheet of material on the router. We're gonna hit cycle start, and I'm gonna be over there edge banding, and we'll see if I can edge band faster than the machine cuts the next sheet. Our project came out great, our cabinet's beautiful. Now think about how we did that. We basically got two employees in the shop. I'm the machine operator, and our second employee is also our employee of the month, which is our machine. Now because of how we had it organized, I was able to actually go over and run the edge bander as a secondary operation. And since the machine didn't have to wait on me, that was free labor. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you need more information, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thank you for watching.